Hi everyone. Today we look like we're having an issue with one of our eggs from the Russo clutch. This top egg uh, began to develop a, a weaker shell. It's not molding or anything, but it indented within 24 hours. I've kept an eye on it. It looks like it's spreading and uh, I need to do something. And we've read uh, online about a a neat little fix. Now granted this egg is pretty large for the area that needs to be treated but what I want to do is I want to take some of this Elmer's glue same as uh, children would use and I'm going to put this on the shell to keep seepage from happening. You can see where there's a, a little spot or two where the eggshell is weak and this is uh, something that we want to control and prevent. Um, I'm not so sure that there's really any other issues the rest of these eggs seem to be pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and turn the light off and candle it this time and make sure we've got veins. The last time I checked was a few days ago and we still did have uh, we still did have veins so it looks like everything else is going good in here. So far so good but we can tell that there's quite an extensive amount of this egg it's going to need to be going to need to be covered. Apparently, um, people have used this in the past and been very successful with it. So I'm going to try it. Although I'd rather have done an experimental larger section of the egg. I'm just going to wipe this off with a small amount of soap and water. I'm trying to do the best we can. And then I'll rinse it with water and we'll try to let it dry. I really like to see this egg go full term. It's only been roughly two weeks since this was uh, since this was laid. So you know if there's any way at all possible to salvage the egg, I want to do that. And I am pretty curious as to how well this will work on the egg and keep it from seeping. And at least be able to tell whether or not the egg develops any, uh, any further conditions. I think if it gets too much, uh, too much further over the egg, we're probably not going to be able to salvage it. But I am surprised based on what I see that there's still decent vein structure here. So I'm going to try to dry this off. It'd be nice if we could find one that had a little smaller window that we were having an issue with and really really baffles me sometimes that people can come up with uh, such an ingenious little solution to a problem. Who would have ever thought to put Elmer's glue on an egg? We'll blow on it here a little bit and make sure it's all dry. So hopefully when this Elmer's dries, it'll provide a little bit more of a protective barrier. sure you know if we may have the need to do this a couple more times to get a good coating on there I 
think a lot of the spots that have had just a little bit of seepage are covered pretty good. Okay, so feel pretty good about the coverage on this. Got a little dab here and there on, on another egg, but that shouldn't hurt it. So I'm going to go ahead and let this sit out dry for a little bit. And once it dries, I'm going to go ahead and place these eggs back in the incubator. And then I will start checking every couple days to see how this is going. And I will update the video as needed.